Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example from quadratic equations chapter, which had appeared in JEE September 2020, paper 1. If alpha and beta be two roots of the equation, x square minus 64x plus 256 equal to 0, then the value of the given expression is. So here we can see four options have been given. So here in this question, they have said that alpha and beta are the two roots of the given quadratic equation. So let us begin by writing the general equation of a quadratic polynomial, which is x square minus sum of zeros times x plus product of zeros. Now the given expression in the question is also quadratic equation. So let me just write down this expression below this general equation. So the expression is x square minus 64x plus 256. So now it becomes easy for us to compare and say that the sum of the zeros of the given expression is 64. That is by comparing the x coefficient of both the equations and product of zeros of both the expressions is 256. So let us write here sum of the zeros or sum of roots as we can call it is alpha plus beta. So by comparison we got it as 64. Similarly product of the roots or product of zeros we have it as alpha times beta. And here by comparison, we got it as 256. Now once we have got this, let us come back to the given expression. So here I have written the same expression again for easy reference. So here we have alpha cube over beta to the power of 5. The whole thing is raised to the power of 1 over 8 plus beta cube over alpha to the power of 5. Whole thing raised to the power of 1 over 8. Now to solve this, we are going to make use of some laws of indices, which are. So here we have three laws of indices. The first one is a to the power of m over b to the power of n, the whole thing raised to the power of p. So a and b are called as the bases and m and p are the powers of the given bases. So if we have this kind of expression, then the outer power gets multiplied with the inner power of the bases. So here you can see in the numerator, the powers will get multiplied. So a to the power of m times p over the same thing repeats to the denominator as well. So we have b and n and p, the powers will get multiplied. Similarly, if we look at the given expression, we have alpha and beta as two separate bases, each having their own powers. So a represents alpha and b represents beta. m is 3 and n is 5, where p is 1 over 8. Similarly, it repeats for the second term as well. So simply here, we are going to multiply the powers for the alpha here for the beta and same thing repeats for the denominators as well. So let me write here. So for the first term in the numerator, the powers will get multiplied. So we have 3 times 1 over 8 giving us alpha to the power of 3 over 8 over now the denominator, the same thing happens. The powers will multiply. So we have beta to the power of 5 times 1 over 8, which is nothing but 5 over 8. The same thing repeats for the second term as well. Now the next step is cross multiplication. We are going to multiply the alphas together and here we are going to multiply the betas together and then multiply the denominators with each other. This is the cross multiplication method. So here we get, so first alpha to the power of 3 over 8 multiplies with alpha to the power of 5 over 8 cross multiplying plus now the betas will multiply with each other. So we have beta to the power of 3 over 8 times beta to the power of 5 over 8 whole thing divided by the denominators will multiply with each other. Now once we have got this we are going to make use of another law of index that is the second one. Now here you can see that if the bases are same that is a and a and there is multiplication between the bases then their powers will get added. So a to the power of m times a to the power of n here we can see that the powers have got added up. Similarly, here we can see that alpha and alpha, the bases are same. So we can add up the powers together. And here also we have beta and beta. So the powers can be added up together. But in the denominator, we can see that the bases are different. Here we have beta and alpha. So for this, we are going to make use of the third law of index. So here you can see if the bases are different, but the powers are same. So here the bases are different, but the powers are same. Then we can just multiply the bases together and keep the same power to both the bases. So let me write this step so that it gets clear to you. So in the numerator we have, so here you can see I have added up the powers. So alpha to the power of 3 over 8 plus 5 over 8 that is by using the second law of index plus 
beta now the powers are again added up 3 over 8 plus 5 over 8 using the second law now for the denominator we have alpha times beta the entire term to the power of 5 over 8 that is by using the third law of index now let us just simplify it so here we have to add up the powers 3 over 8 plus 5 over 8 the denominators are same so we can simply add up the numerators together so we get 3 plus 5 which is 8 which simplifies as alpha to the power of 8 over 8 plus the same thing repeats for beta as well since the denominators are same 8 and 8 the numerators can be added so 3 plus 5 is again 8 so 8 over 8 now the denominator stays the same now 8 over 8 and 8 over 8 they cancel out each other so we have alpha to the power of 1 and beta to the power of 1 let me write here alpha plus beta and in the denominator we have alpha beta to the power of 5 over 8 now once we have got this we have the value of alpha plus beta that is sum of the zeros and alpha times beta that is product of the zeros so sum of the roots or sum of the zeros we have here is 64 and product is 256 so let us substitute the values over here now so 64 over 256 to the power of 5 over 8 now in the denominator 256 can be written as a power of 2 that is 2 to the power of 8 gives us 256 so let us replace the value of 256 as 2 to the power of 8 so here we have 64 over 2 to the power of 8 now whole thing is raised to the power of 5 over 8 now according to laws of index we can multiply the powers so 8 multiplies with 5 over 8 so 8 and 8 gets cancelled so we are left with only 5 so 2 is raised to the power of 5 which is 32 so here we can write 64 over 32 now one last step is 64 and 32 divides each other that is 32 1 times is 32 and 32 2 times is 64 so here we get the final answer as 2 the most simplified value of the given expression so let us see if 2 is in the options given so here we have option a as 2 so our answer is a i hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video and if you found this video interesting then you can click on this playlist where you can find more videos on competitive examination questions and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching